Hi, hello, my name is Anne. If you're new here, I'm a final year PhD student studying nanomedicine and drug delivery at the University of British Columbia. As you can see, I am right outside my lab because in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough through the lab and sharing with you all of the instruments and machinery that we all use for our experiments. So let's go. So first of all, this is the entrance before the entrance where we put our coats our stuff i usually put my lunch and stuff here this is my water bottle and my mug that we made with the lab and this is the actual entrance to the lab so right away when you walk in this used to be kk's lab space but he finished his postdoc and he is working now so this is not occupied by anybody but as you could see <laughs> We use it for solvent storage now, apparently. The first piece of equipment that I want to share with you is this instrument here. This is the rotovap or the rotary, rotary, rotary evaporator. Oh my gosh, I need to look that up. We just call it, yeah, rotavap, <laughs> the rotovap. So this instrument is used to evaporate organic solvents. So you just put the solvent solution in a round bottom flask here, connect it to this connector. And this is where the dry ice goes to make it really cold. This is the pump, which is connected to it. And basically with the heat and the vacuum, the solvent evaporates the condensate it goes through here and the dry ice will turn it into a liquid again and then it will come down and collect here rotovap there next up is this instrument here which is the lyophilizer this is super cool because it helps us remove any aqueous solution from a frozen sample directly to like a dry sample so it doesn't turn into a liquid so that way we can dry and remove our aqueous stuff really nicely we connect this stuff here with a flask, of course. So our sample usually goes into one of these guys. And then we connect it to here. And with the help of this pump, everything is under pressure. And yeah, lyophilization. Straight from frozen to not frozen. <laughs> This is just the oven. So this is where we put our glassware to heat and dry. Nothing interesting here. Now let's walk back this way. This is our trash. <laughs> our schedule to take down stuff is here. We do like a location system. This here is no Jude's bench. Hi, no Jude. <laughs> On her bench is the centrifuge, so it's not her, like everyone uses the centrifuge. So basically like a centrifuge is something that, if it will open, open, oh, okay, open, there we go. We usually put our Eppendorf tubes in here and then it spins really, really fast. So then things will collect down at the bottom of the tube. This is the centrifuge. Oof, close this. This hood. Half of it is Lucas's stuff, so Lucas does his peptide synthesis here. And then this is the analytical balance where we weigh things. And this is Lucas's bench. Our fridge and freezer, yay. <laughs> this is where we store all of our chemicals, just labeled alphabetically. And obviously there's like still chemicals in the fridge as well. And in this room, is one of our equipment rooms. This here is a very key player in my weekly vlogs because this is what I use to measure all of the nanoparticles. So it measures the size of my nanoparticles using light scattering. So this instrument here is a nano assembler. So this is what a few of us use to make nanoparticles. I used to use this to make my nanoparticles as well, but then I decided I wanted to uh, come up with a different way to make nanoparticles because it kept breaking down and it's like barely hanging on. So. That's the nano assembler. This is the laptop that is connected to the nano assembler to control it. Over here is the pH meter. Yes, it measures the pH. This thingy in my bobber, I've never used this before, but Noju uses this a lot. This is the TFF system. I forget what TFF stands for. I will look it up for you. But basically this thing uh, Noju uses to concentrate her nanoparticles. This computer here is connected to this plate reader but it has been broken, is broken, and I think it's still broken. It's very wonky. So we all use this other plate reader that is shared by the whole faculty, but it's just chilling here for now. 
Okay, leaving this room. Let's take a look over here. This is our animal experimental hood. As you can see, there are some flowy tubi thingy-wobbers for the animals. This is Pohan's bench. This thing is super cool. I've never used this before, but it's a multi-tube vortexer. Seems pretty cool. Have yet to use it. This hood over here contains the sonicator. So this uses waves to really vibrate and like mix things together really well. This is part of a road of app. It is missing the tub, which is over at KK's old bench, I think. But yeah, we rarely use this one because we can't really control the pressure of this vacuum very well. So this is just like a backup road of app. Our non-halogenated and halogenated waste coming over here. This is my bench. So yeah, I have my own hood because I do synthesis and stuff. So I have my nanoparticles stirring right now. And this is my bench. It's nice and clean right now, if you can believe it. This is clean. <laughs> and this is actually part of the other labs. So it's not ours, but we have this bench. Yes, it's a very strange division of space, but this is our bench. I'm using it right now because no one's using it. This used to be Roland's bench. Roland has also finished his postdoc with us. Ooh, this is another centrifuge thingy mover that I use most of the time because it's closer to me. This is my sitting area with all of my lab notebooks. And Lucas usually sits here. Jaman usually sits here. No one's sitting here right now. <laughs> and no Jude usually sits here. Yeah. So that's our lab, we're back. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, one more room. So right next to the nano assembler and nano sizer room is the magical UPLC room. <sighs> How many times have I complained about this instrument? This is the UPLC, the ultra high performance liquid chromatography instrument. But Oh my gosh, everyone in our lab uses this because it is such a powerful instrument but it breaks down so frequently because there are so many working parts to it that need to work in order for us to get a freaking signal. So I usually use this to check the purity of my drugs, quantify the concentration in my plasma samples from my animal studies. Super, super powerful instrument. We all need it, but oh my goodness, it is so freaking fragile. This is a fancy ass, what is this one called? Nano assembler blaze. Well, the other one I showed you was the nano assembler bench top, so it's a smaller one. But this one is basically the bigger, fancier version to like scale up the nanoparticles. But we don't use it because apparently the disc that we need to use is like only a one time use situation. So it only works after scanning the barcode of it, and then after the instrument detects the barcode, you just can't use it again. So yeah, I have never seen anyone use this. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. I do not know what this is. I think this is part of the TFF because it used to be here, but I don't know, I don't know. Also don't know what the heck that is. Looks very fancy and shiny. This I have never used, but my lab mates use this to homogenize like tissue samples and yeah. Okay. So now let's go over to the extension of our lab, which is the cell culture room, which is on the other side of this door, other side of this hallway. Let's go. This is the entrance. Our lab is right there. Okay, let's go. This is the entrance to the Williams lab. Squeaky, squeaky door. Oh dear. <laughs> this thing is like, the sensor for this is broken, so we have to like hit this twice every time. This is the cell culture room gloves for this liquid nitrogen tank thingy, which holds all of our cells, keeps them frozen. This is the hood. <laughs> This is the biosafety cabinet, so this is where we do all of our sterile cell culture work. Our trash that I need to autoclave tomorrow. This is the 37 degree oof, bath with these marbles. I don't know what they're called. Heating stones, I guess. Kept at 37 degrees. This is the computer that is connected to this microscope, which I've shown in my vlogs a bunch of times. All of our stuff. So much stuff. 
stuff, stuff, stuff everywhere that we use. This is the CO2 tanks that is connected to this incubator thingy mabobber. So this incubator keeps our cells at the right temperature and humidity. This is the big centrifuge, like a very, very, very big, huge, ginormous centrifuge to spin down our samples and we keep some autoclaved water here for that to keep it at the right humidity and yeah that's our soul culture very very nice very very nice okay let's go back okay we are back in this room which room is it which room is it people this is the nano assembly and nano particle nano sizer room <laughs> We're back here. I hope you enjoyed that really quick walkthrough of my lab. I think it's like not in its best cleanliness state because it is a little bit messy, but it's also not at its worst state. And uh, <laughs> I may or may not have cleaned my bed today in preparation for this video. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, usually my bench is not that clean, <laughs> even though it's not even that clean right now. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you found any of the instruments super interesting or you want to know more about it or if you have the same instruments in your labs. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.